Welcome to Carbon's DIY Garage. If you're subscribed to the channel, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed yet, you should take a moment and do so. You're going to love all this great content for this 2014 Chrysler 200 and a bunch of other vehicles that are in and out of the garage. Today we're inside the Chrysler 200 because we are going to replace this multifunction lever, the multifunction switch. And the reason for that is that it has automatic headlights here on the switch, but the vehicle doesn't actually have automatic headlights. Looking up on the dash, this is where the sun sensor is supposed to go if you do have automatic headlights, but this is just molded plastic part of the dash trim because this vehicle did not come with automatic headlights. Also, when you use the multifunction switch to try to turn on these interior lights, it doesn't work. They work if you do this, but uh, it doesn't work when you open the door and it doesn't work with the switch here on the multifunction switch. So I'm hoping that if I replace it with one that's appropriate for this vehicle, it'll also recover that capability. Replacing the multifunction switch is actually pretty easy. Uh, it's just a matter of three Torx bolts that they're Torx screws that are down here underneath. There is one back here, one here, and one over here that are a T20 Torx, and you just uh, pull those three things out first. The first thing I'll point out is that it's easiest to access the three Torx tip bolts or screws under here. The first thing to do is to telescope the column out. So push your lever down, pull on the column until it extends all the way out, and then lock it up like that. And then you've got access to the three holes uh, that you need to remove the bolts from. Once you have the, the screws out, then take your flat tip screwdriver and just wedge it, uh, so the small flat tip screwdriver, wedge it in between the seams here and uh, the, the two parts will just come, uh, come separated. Do that on both sides. Just like that. And the uh, top part will come free. You do not need to pull it out, just uh, lift it up out of the way. To get this multi-function switch out, you just have two electrical connectors right here, one on each side. You might need your small uh, flat tip screwdriver to help you to press the tabs to get the connectors loose, but those should come out pretty easily. And then you just have one screw right here that you need to remove. And again, it's a Torx tip screw. And then you can just pull the multi-function switch out of the column. And then to remove the switch, literally just pull it out. And it might be a little bit snug, but just pull it out and out it comes. Since I'm not 100% positive that this switch will actually fix my problem, I went uh, the eBay route and got one uh, that's used off of a vehicle. And I'll put the Mopar part numbers uh, in the video description on uh, which parts will work with this particular vehicle, which is one that does not have auto headlights and also does not have fog lights. But uh, anyway, putting it into the vehicle is the, is really simple. There's a, a shoe, more or less, at the bottom that you need to line up with uh, this track right here. And then there's a ear right here that slips into this slot. And as long as you get those two things lined up, it'll push right in. That's all you have to worry about. just like that. And then uh, the screw will go in next to get it fully seated. With the screw in place, we'll go ahead and reconnect the electrical connectors, just like when we took them off. Once you have this harness connected, I would go ahead and just tuck the wiring underneath this uh, little plastic bracket so that uh, it's not gonna get in the way of the shroud. And with that, you are done. You just need to slip these uh, shrouds back in place. Lift the one up from the bottom, tuck the tabs in on the side so that it all comes together, and then put those torque screws back in place. So now I'll put the car into run, and we'll test and see if the multifunction switch works. So headlights, headlights are on, left blinker, right blinker, and uh, headlights, 
that's all working. Let's check and see if the courtesy lights work, the interior lights with the switch. And they still don't work. And they still don't work when you open and close the door. So I still have a problem to figure out, but it is not the problem with the switch. So hopefully this video has been useful or helpful to anybody who wants to know how to replace the switch. It's really pretty simple process, straightforward. Uh, unfortunately, I've got more homework to do, but if you found this video useful or helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see what other future projects await this Chrysler 200 or some of the other vehicles in the garage. Until that next video, have a good one.